Hello and welcome back to Nat Scraps. I hope you're having a wonderful scrappy day and are getting your fingers a little bit inky. I'm back doing one of my absolute favorite things which is making some embellishments out of the small scraps that are left over. Now I forgot to hit the record button so the first two of these I oh, actually the first three have pretty much been made before I realized the record button wasn't on and uh, that that's on me I am sorry guys but I'll walk you through the first one which is uh, the one that says go there at the top there was a little bit of the chipboard frame um, with that wood grain frame from I think it's loving this was inside it I just cut around that leaving a very thin border and then put a little bit of the paper with the scenery with the trees and bits and pieces behind that and um, popped that in and then stuck the go and a little postage stamp on it and that was pretty much done the one with this is view again it's just a little bit of that scenery paper I left over a tree sticker and a torn strip which was really just um, a piece of a scrap 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 um, a few little die cuts and that one was done happy place there which is a little bit covered by the C word there at the moment um, a little bit of the green paper laid up on a little bit of oatmeal -y paper and just two of those little stamp bits now one of them is even half of one so if you've got just um, I found I was left with lots of bottoms and not many tops but um, whatever you got left you can kind of fit to those and a couple of tiny embellishments put on I've made the away while I was there chatting away guys I, I do have this on super speed because I found that you guys like these nice and quick and that you can watch maybe in a coffee break or something like that so I am trying to make sure that my videos aren't running for 25 minutes and they're a little bit better so that was a pretty easy one too just a, a torn piece of paper but that's now ready to go on a page wherever I would like to put it here I'm just making stamping out some trees for this next little embellishment and you can see I'm, I've stamped it there in sage and I'm now and pine and I've cut out the middle tree so that it's got a little bit more dimension and that um, it, it's got some differentiation there with the trees they are a little bit you kind of got to just pick a line there's no real um, line of the trees in the stamp so you've got to pick a line and just choose where to go with it and, and stick with that I ended up cutting the bottom of that one off I didn't know um, I didn't like the sort of bit going down the bottom and I thought that will work a little bit better on a page next I'm doing this one the view um, loving this view and I do like this title but every time I went to put it on the page I felt like it was very blocky and solid in color so I'm going to change it up a little bit sorry you're getting more of my head there than what you are of what I'm doing but what I am doing is just going around with the blade and I'm cutting out the lettering and leaving the little green border that's on those words now I'm going to do what I love to do is using those tiny little scraps I'm laying that up behind that wording and as we go along I'm filling that in and I'm going to put a little bit of blue at the top so it looks like um, green for the foreground a little bit of mountainy kind of bit there and a little bit of blue sky and that just changes that one up a little bit so if you've got two of these kits which I know I have and I know several other people that have got two of these kits you can change that title up and it's going to look different on the pages I believe this is the last one that I am going to do and it's taking this bigger sticker that is on the sticker sheet and I'm going to just create a little vinaigrette is that the word somebody will correct me I'm sure of it now the two little tiny trees that I put on here you guys may not have because in the instructions for the change of scenery kit it has to use the whole lot of those trees as a border on one of the pages I cut mine a little bit shorter because I didn't um, I thought it would be nice not to have them go right to the edge of the page so I had 
one of those cut from each <coughs> excuse me each of the pages and I have um, used them there you could very well use those trees I stamped earlier and um, put them on there as well oh no there is one more guys and this one I'm using the outside of the sticker now again um, I do this a lot and I have videos where I actually walk through exactly what I do if you go back and see some of my other embellishment videos if you haven't seen how I make those um, it's really just using the the outside shape of the sticker um, leftover pieces so bits that we'd normally throw away in the bin and I use them and um, use that to create a base put some paper behind bits and pieces here I'm just adding a few little bits and pieces to this one there is um, two full sticker zip strippy pieces that I haven't used and that was one of them the little flowery piece down the bottom and bringing in some of the other stickers for a title you could also stamp out some of the other titles that are on this page on the um, on the stamp sheet if you have them things like slowing down has its perks um, change of scenery that could also be used and cut up to add I just trimmed the top of that to make it into a little tag shape so I can put some twine or some little bits and pieces there as well and that one is pretty much done after having a little bit now I have just a few tiny little bits and pieces left I'm going to pop them aside with uh, the embellishments and then when I make a page with those embellishments I can pop those onto the page thank you guys so much for all the love that you've been leaving me all those new subscribers that have joined me thank you also to if you haven't hit the hit script subscribe button or the like button or left a comment please do it um, helps the uh, channel to grow and helps me to continue making videos there's a few still shots after this so stick around and watch those but apart from that thank you so much guys I appreciate every single one of you and I will see you on the next video take care bye